Oh man, what's up? Back in my car again, what's good? She about to head on from work. I just want to make this video real quick. Now this is no personal, nothing to do with anybody personally. It doesn't even really have much to do with this one individual post. This is more so just a culmination of every time I say certain things or I post certain things online, whether it's some, something in person that I say or something online or me sharing something that somebody else said or whatever about black women specifically, if it's not super extra positive, you go girl type of stuff, which I normally is what I'm on and what I push, as soon as it's, hey, you know, y'all can work on this or, hey, y'all know you don't have to do this if you're doing it for this negative reason or, hey, you know, it would be better if you did this or y'all can work on this. All of a sudden, I'm attacking. All of a sudden, I'm a hotel ashy, misogynistic, dusty, musty black dude. If I just say one thing, if it don't come out the way that y'all want to hear, all of a sudden, it's a problem. Instead of asking, hey, wait a minute, man. I know you normally are about, you know, black love and positivity and everything like this. So what like, like what do you what do you mean by this, Bobby? Like like what do you instead of that, it's oh, okay, well you being like this, this, and this, or why'd you say that? Or you it's like, dang, wait a minute. How do you know you you can't read my mind? I can understand the confusion because look, I do it too. We all need to do better in this aspect. I do it too when somebody share somebody else's post and they don't say nothing they just share it we all automatically assume that person agrees with agrees with the post or they agree with everything in the post or they agree with ex exactly how the post was said i do it too so i'm not once again i'm not trying to come at anybody individually i do the same thing so i i get it i feel where y'all are coming from and look my fault for not um i guess breaking down my exact mindset on this individual post recently that I shared, like I said, it's not even just about this post, but I'm speak more directly on this because this happens not a lot, but enough to where it's starting to get annoying. Basically, I shared this um, post that uh, this this black woman, uh, Danica Marie, uh, I'll put the link to her Facebook in the comment section. She actually She's actually pretty cool. She's got a YouTube channel. She does... Uh, live streams on Facebook about uh, relationships and just a bunch of stuff. So I, I I like her uh, commentary on stuff about men and women and uh, not even really just black people, but just people in general. But anyway, so she made this post. Um, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but basically she says something along the lines. I just wish black women didn't have didn't feel like they had to be hoes in order to get noticed. Now, when I read this, first of all, I didn't agree with the word ho. I actually can't stand when black men uh, specifically, because usually these are the main people that I hear uh, calling all women that word. I cannot stand that. You ask, go ask some black dudes I used to work with. I used to check them at work. This is how, this is how much I care. I'll be in the middle of work. I've gotten into conversations, not arguments, nothing like that, but I mean like, conversations and check dudes usually black dudes you know you know all men talk we all talk about girls that we've you know dated or messed with or whatever instead of being like oh yeah i was uh out saturday night with this girl or you know just saying her name or whatever they'd be like oh yeah i was talking to this hoe the other day and it's like dang why she gotta be a hoe like what like do you not know her name like i can't i cannot stand that's it's usually black men that i see doing this I call them out and they don't get mad at me. They're like, all right, man, like I I, I know what you mean. Like they might they might laugh a little bit. Some of them they, they might really think about it like, damn, you know what? That's a good point. Or some of them like, damn, I got a daughter. Maybe I should, you know, think before I say these type of things. Like, you know, you're right. I'll be defending the hell out of you. I'm telling you, go go ask, go ask some some black dudes that that I used to work with. And how I would check them on that. And they'd be thinking, like, dang, you know. Maybe you're right. I'd be like, dang, like, you know, you want to say all black women have attitudes, but then you're going around calling all black women hoes. Like, come on, dog. Why? Like, maybe this is some of the reason why they have a so-called attitude. 
Maybe this is the reason why they're mad all the time and have you quotes, right? If you black men going around calling women all types of B words and hoes. Yeah, maybe some of them might feel a type of way about that and be mad at you, dummy. Like, you know, and I've had some dudes where you think like, man, like maybe I should stop saying. So I said all that to say this on that post that uh, this black woman created that I, I didn't. I, all I did was share it. And she said, once again, some, something along the lines of I wish black women didn't feel like they had to be hoes in order to get noticed. Now, when I read that and maybe she meant something different. But this is the way that I perceived it. And once again, my bad for not specifying what my mindset and my opinion on the post. All I did was just share it. Right. So um, my my perception and my opinion on that and the reason why I shared that the way I looked at that was. Y'all are the victim within that uh, post. Right. The way I looked at, at it as society. You know, starting from black males and just, you know, overall society, a lot of times over sexualizes women in general um, and a lot of times primarily black women. For example, you look at some of these uh, hip hop videos, some of these rap music videos and stuff, which is obviously a very black male dominated genre. You look at a lot of these music videos when they have women in there. Usually they're black women, usually lighter complexion, which is a whole nother thing, which I I'm not about to get into colorism, and all that stuff. I shout out to all my light skinned black women. I don't like it's There's no shade to y'all. No pun intended. But y'all not y'all 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 know y'all know they tend to kind of glorify lighter skinned women or darker skinned women that that's a whole nother thing anyway so they have all these black women in their rap videos right and usually they're basically just there as sexual props which don't get me wrong as a guy it's nice to see you know women looking good and all that type of stuff that's cool i just wish as a grown man they would these some of these rappers would add to and be like yeah you know we're showing these women we're showing their physical beauty but on top of that we're going to show some women in in a, a, a cap and gown graduating from college or or you know becoming a lawyer or something just what you know like showing something about their mind showing them you know n nurturing a, a, a child what, whatever or just doing their thing kicking it playing some basketball whatever you know, it's always exclusively just about a black woman's body when it comes to these hip hop videos. And, that, and that's just one. I'm that's just one example. I mean, ladies, y'all could probably come up with 10 trillion other examples. Like y'all obviously experienced this more than me. I'm not a woman, but I'm not stupid. I, I see the same stuff you do. So when I read that post, I'm thinking about all these little black girls that see these rap videos and see these black dudes glorifying women for just their bodies, just their sexual appeal, which is nothing wrong with, you know, with uh, acknowledging how beautiful y'all are physically. But like I said, why can't we add to that and be like, look, black women are so dope. Not only are y'all one of, if not, are, in my opinion, the physically the most beautiful people on the planet but also y'all are are the most right or die y'all you know at least in my generation are graduating college and getting college degrees at the highest rate of anybody male female asian black white whatever they don't talk about that in within our community you don't see definitely don't see that within the outside you know uh cultures and stuff like that you, for the most part as much as it should i mean it's Times are changing. That's good. Like we are starting to see more, you know, um, uh, of these things highlighted as far as black women, how intelligent y'all are. I'm just saying as a whole, we're still getting there. Right. So since we're at the at a point where we're still getting there, I could understand how a little black girl could see, you know, these black male celebrities really only talking positive about y'all when it comes to y'all's looks and you have regular black dudes the everyday black dude agreeing with these famous black dudes when it comes to y'all's bodies and once again never adding to or or saying anything about y'all's mindset or y'all's spirituality or just anything else about y'all and just how dope of people y'all are that could make some young black girls think that, dang, the only way I could get noticed or get some kind of love or any kind of value is through my looks. I got to look like Beyonce or whatever in order to have some type of value in this world. I know that these things happen. You know, I got I got young family members. I know like I, I'm, I'm in the big brother 
Big Sister program. Like, I, I see how these, these kids interact. Like, you know, I mean, like I, I pick up on this stuff. You know what I'm saying? That's the way that I perceive the post. It wasn't that, oh, black women are hoes and y'all just acting this way because y'all want attention and y'all just a bunch of dumb. That wasn't that was not my intent. And look, I'm sorry if it came off that way. I can completely understand how it can be perceived that way. That was not in any shape, shape or form why I shared that post. And I don't think I do not think that's what she meant. Because she's not one of these black women that tries to put down other women. She's all about, you know, a solid relationship between black people, whether that's platonic or romantic or business or whatever. She's about uplifting black men and black women. All she all I think she was saying, at least from what I got in my in my opinion, at the very least, is that if you live in society that over sexualizes black women and only really could consistently talks positively about y'all when it comes to y'all's physical looks that may make some women some black women think the only way that they can be valued by other people is through their looks and that's not right i don't think i don't think that that's right because y'all are way more than your physical beauty that is a part of it i love that about y'all don't get it twisted y'all are fine as hell don't get it twisted but y'all are more than just a pretty face y'all are more than just your bodies right so that was what i took from it next time i i share something and if i don't say, say if i don't say something y'all should know most of y'all know me now if i share something and it seems controversial you're you're, you're kind of like dang why did you share that just ask me be like why why did you share this where what is your opinion on this you didn't bobby you didn't say anything all you did was share so you agree with this like this like in my opinion this is messed up and this is why i think it's messed up because x y and z because you may teach me some. I may be like, dang, I didn't even look at it that way. The reason I shared it was because I looked at it like this. But what you're saying, I might be like, dang, what you're saying makes sense too. Don't just come on here and be like, oh, so it's okay for them to do it, but not us. Like that's not, what? No, no. I don't want anybody to feel that way. But first and foremost, I'm starting with black people first. Everybody else, I'll worry about people as far as demographics individually. Black people, I'm, I'm, I care more and focus more about us. Not, not that there's anything wrong with anybody else. So much, much, say I'm being racist. Like, oh, he cares more about. Yes, I'm a black person. If I ever have kids, those kids are gonna be black. No matter what woman I, I have a kid with, they, for all intents and purposes, biologically and or socially in this country, that kid will be black. So yes, I do care about black people first and foremost. But I love human beings. As a whole, we are all people. I care about my family, my friends. You know, at the end of the day, don't get it twisted. But as far as women, yes, I am going to focus on black women more than other women. You don't want black men to, I mean, I don't, I don't understand. You want us to ignore, start ignoring y'all? I mean, because a lot of us do that. And I be checking those black dudes too. Like, dang, you over here glorifying Becky and them. And that's cool. But what about, you know, these sisters over here, too? You know, anything that you're saying that's great about them, they can do the same thing. So what, like, you know, once again, I be checking these black dudes all day. No, Nobody's got a problem with that. Whether it's online, in person, nobody's got a problem with that. I say something a little controversial about black women. All of a sudden, I'm the gang is kind of misogyny or something. Like, I don't I don't understand. I love y'all. I don't want y'all to, to, to think that I hate y'all. That's the last thing that I want. That's the last thing that I'm trying to do as an individual human being who is a black straight male that loves y'all. I don't want y'all to think that I hate y'all. But guess what? As great as y'all are, y'all aren't perfect. Nobody is. No human being is perfect. We're all flawed. Why can't I bring up some of these flaws when if it's a flaw that I believe that y'all can curve why not bring it up maybe you don't know maybe you don't maybe you don't realize there's a lot of flaws that i got i try to check myself and and, and you know uh be aware of as many many of my flaws as i can but i don't there's probably some flaws i know i know there's some flaws about myself that i am not aware of and my friends will say hey you know you do this you know whatever whatever though 
bring it to my attention. I'm like, okay, cool. Now, sometimes, yeah, I might get defensive. That's okay. I understand y'all getting defensive too, but at the same time, at least try to understand where I'm coming from while de you're defending yourself. Right? But, whatever. I took that post as us as a society outside of black women, but everybody else needs, needs to treat needs to, needs to treat y'all better so y'all don't feel devalued, don't feel this way in the first place. That was why I shared it. It got nothing to do with y'all being hoes. Like, I, once again, disagreed with her using that word in the post. I wish she didn't say it like that. I get what she meant, and I agree with the overall post. Okay? I don't think y'all are hoes, right? I don't think nothing like that about y'all. Okay, don't put that evil on me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm gonna get home though. This this shit crazy. All right, peace out.